Hello everyone, I hope that you are having a great day and a great weekend so far. Today for my knowledge speech, I'm going to be talking about coffee. So something you guys may not know about me is that I've been a barista for about two years, but I've been a coffee enthusiast for much longer. I've been drinking coffee since I was about eight years old, which may be not the best parenting decision, as now I'm completely addicted, but I loved it. I saw my parents drinking it when I was super young and wanted some for myself, so they just let me have some. So I'm going to be talking about the different types of coffee, the different roasts that there are, what undertones are, different types of espresso drinks, all that jazz. So to start, I wanted to start with the different types of coffee that there are. So walking through the coffee aisle, you may see things like house blend, medium roast, light roast, dark roast, blah, blah. So to start, those are pretty self-explanatory. The house roast is their own special roast. It's usually a medium roast. Um, but same thing with the medium roast. It's a medium roast. It's not too dark. It's not too light. Light roast is a little bit lighter. Dark roast is a little bit darker and can be a little bit more bitter. Colombian roast is a little bit different. A lot of coffees now have a Colombian roast and it's for a little bit more of a refined palate. It's more on the high end of coffee. It's a little bit more luxurious, but that's just due to how they roast it and where the coffee beans come from. Typically coffee beans, if they say it's Colombian, they come from Arabia. So it can be a little bit more expensive. And it's a little bit darker than a medium roast. Not quite as dark as a dark roast, but it can have a more acidic taste. So a lot of people don't prefer it. Me personally, I like Colombian and my parents do too. So I've been drinking that since I was a kid. French roast is a dark roast and it's a little bit less acidic than a regular light roast. So if you're looking for something that is darker than medium roast but doesn't have that super bitter coffee taste that some light roasts can have, French roast might be the roast for you. Those are really the main roasts that I wanted to talk about. Something that confused me for a while until I started working as a barista were undertones. Sometimes on the back of coffee bean bags you can see undertones like chocolate or fruit and I had no idea what that meant. But what it actually means is it has to do with where the beans were grown, how it was roasted, the type of coffee like light, medium, or dark, and how it was brewed. These can all greatly affect the undertone taste of coffee, which is almost just the aftertaste of coffee. So some really basic types of undertones are berries such as blueberry, strawberry, things like that. Some can just have sweet, so it just has like a sweet aftertaste. Another really popular one is cocoa. So as far as I've been a barista, I've worked at Dunkin' Donuts and been specifically a coffee maker. Um, I do know other things at Dunkin', but I am specifically the coffee maker. And we have right now a limited edition coffee line where we just have different coffees that are shipped in and we brew. They're all medium roasts and so far we've had a Colombian which was just a regular a plain Jane Colombian and then we had an explorer batch which had undertones of berry and right now we have a sunrise batch which if you haven't tried it I'm not trying to promote Duncan but if you tried the explorer batch and you didn't really like it give the sunrise batch a try because I personally really like it. I did not like the Explorer Batch, but Sunrise is a lot better. It has undertones of cocoa. So if you like chocolate, it's a little bit nice. Anyways, so those that has to do with undertones and everything. The next thing I wanted to talk about were different types of espresso, which is super important to me because I love espresso. So the difference between an Americano, a cappuccino, a latte, and a macchiato. An Americano is just an espresso shot with hot water. You can add flavor, sugar, milk to it if you want, but that's usually what it is, just espresso and hot water. A cappuccino 
is espresso and super, super steamed milk. It has a lot more milk than your regular coffee, but it has a lot more foam than it does milk. So if you're looking for something that's just super foamy, cappuccino is the way to go. A latte, on the other hand, does have a little bit more milk and it does have that foam on top, but it's not as much foam as a cappuccino would have. Still really good though. A macchiato, there can be two different types of a macchiato. It really depends on it, what cafe you go to. At Dunkin' Donuts and at Starbucks, it's just steamed milk at the bottom and then espresso on top. And it has two shots of espresso rather than one, which would have, which would be in the cappuccino and the latte. A lot of cafes now have the traditional type of macchiato, which a lot of people order and get mad when they're given this because they're expecting the Dunkin' or Starbucks macchiato. And what that is, it's just a couple shots of espresso and they can have like a little bit of whipped cream on top or like a little splash of cream inside and that's their macchiato. Um, it, I believe it's from Italy and that's just a, the traditional macchiato, but some people get mad when they get that. So there's two different types of macchiatos, which I thought was pretty cool. So that's really my general knowledge about coffee. I clearly love talking about it and it's one of my favorite things. Thank you for listening to me talk about it and I hope that I may have inspired some of you to try some different coffees if you haven't.